Good morning. It's too early. <laughs> it is. Almost 9 o'clock. On. Ooh. Hmm. It's day two of the buzzword a -thon And I haven't started reading yet. After I stopped filming last night, I read a little bit more. And I don't even remember what I was about. <laughs> uh, as you can see, my daughters are starting their school day. And, yeah, I need to start editing yesterday's vlog and get that up. And then I'm going to edit my fall tag that I did yesterday and get that up. So y'all are going to get two videos today. <sighs> and I need to start decorating for fall today. So it's going to be another busy day. And I hear a kid coming. Who is it? Who is it? Say, who are you? Me. Sammy. <laughs> Addie. <laughs> oh, Lord. Don't show you all your outfit. I didn't even see your outfit. You're in the dark. Yeah, oh. Oh. What those St. Claus? Mm. It's called the morning. I'll take Let's them say, off Say hi, bye. Hi, bye. 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 Alright, go finish. No. After school. After school. Okay, so. Um, I'm going to continue reading Midnight Sun today. And I also need to read Arsha and a Tree of Wishes out loud to them today. Because I need to finish that book by the end of the month. It's on my <laughs> September TBR. And yeah. So, that's my plans so far. And... I'll see you later with a reading update. Turn off. Hey, books. Pull your arm closer to you. Addie, don't scare him. He's what? Dirty. Yeah, he's dirty. <laughs> but he's happy. Ain't you bugs? You happy? Alright, put your stuff up. I'm doing a video. To put it in today's video. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> so people are going to know how whiny you are. Excuse me? <laughs> Say, thank you, Alcrate. Thank you, Alcrate. Hey, everyone. It's day three of the Buzzword a thon. And yesterday was a very productive work day. Personal wise, <laughs> my kids were little monsters. I uploaded my day one vlog. I had music in it, and then once it was done processing, it got blocked with a copyright claim. Thanks, Japan. I really want to shoot you the bird right now, but um, so yeah, I had to delete it and re upload. So I lost six hours of my personal time last night because the first video took three hours to upload with my dinosaur internet and then my husband came home from work right after the first time it was done uploading yeah and then I spent the rest of the night the evening watching dead files with my kid and the only way to not have my Hulu buffering every five seconds was to not upload and use my like I said slow ass internet so anyways um I read a 
I think two chapters yesterday. I'm only on chapter seven. I didn't get much reading done yesterday. And, uh, yeah, I woke up with a massive migraine this morning and just went back to bed and did not wake up until 1030. And, and my kids started school right after I woke up and they did not finish until four o'clock. So, yes, my husband came home right after that. Now, he's entertaining my kids with Jurassic Park. I'm happy. And so I am going to go outside. I'm going to go feed bugs. You should see some footage of Adeline and Ariana feeding bugs. I still need to get footage of Sammy feeding bugs, but I've already fed them today because I want to tell them to myself. This is just a ranty vlog and I apologize, but I took pictures of my owl crate stuff and yeah, I've had another decent good work day. It seems like if I have a good work day, then my personal stuff is just going to go down the drain. If I have a good personal time, then my work is going to be affected. So I need to find a balance. But I'm going to read, and thankfully my husband is cooking tonight. He's cooking breakfast. So eggs, sausage, something with pita bread, and yeah. So I'm going to go read. And I'm sorry for the light and I'm sorry that I'm still in the same exact spot I know it's boring I was gonna go out and go outside and do this clip but my neighbor's kids are screaming at the top of their lungs they are I know they didn't go to school today because the bus didn't come by today. okay reading update I'm on chapter 9 I've read two chapters and to be honest, I hate how slow I'm reading this. I have stopped like four or five times in the middle of chapter seven to go do other things. It's not keeping my attention. It's the chapters where we've already read in Twilight. But I'm interested in Edward's life that doesn't have Bella in the scenes at all. But He's reminding me of Joe from the book You by Caroline Kepnes. It's that creepy how obsessed he is with Bella. I just wish I had nothing to do and to just sit down for an hour and read this. So, hmm. But I'm helping my husband cook. I'm going out to the garden to pick peppers and onions and doing dishes uh, I want to finish this before the weekend because I really want to read Cloak of Night I want to get it done before the end of the month and it sounds like supper's done so I need to go in the middle of chapter 10 and Bella has just uh, shared her theory that Edward is a vampire and he's like so pissed off was like and you're not scared of me she goes no I don't care and then he says I suppose that I could arrange for her to receive the best care available Carlisle will have the connections to find her the most skilled doctors the most talented therapist perhaps something could be done to fix whatever it was that was wrong with her whatever it that made her content to sit beside a vampire with her heart beating calmly and steadily I would watch over the facility naturally and visit as often as she allowed so you're going to have her committed for knowing that you're a vampire and then the people around her knowing that she thinks that Edward is a vampire and then have people call her crazy and then you're still going to visit her just to drive her more bonkers to make herself think she's actually crazy I mean okay it is day five of the buzzword reason I did not vlog day four so yeah I got sick yesterday uh something that we me and Casey cooked the night before on day three did not agree with me and I was just yeah wasn't food poisoning but I felt like death all day yesterday um I got a little bit of reading done I got 100 pages read yesterday and I'm still reading Midnight Sun 
uh, I just got to a sentence where it says, where Edward says, Dad, I had a great capacity for ruining even the best moments. Okay, so, I agree with that because he's ruining this book with his repetitive, constant thoughts. How many times can we read that your throat is on fire? How many times can we read about the little pucker in between Bella's eyebrows? Uh, her thumping heart. I, okay. The only reason I'm still continuing is because I love the parts about Rosalie and uh, Rosalie's history and Alice's history and Carlisle and uh, Edward's past before he met Bella. I love that part. Uh, when they met Shaban, when he met Shaban for the first time and uh, Marie? No, not Marie. Uh, Maggie. Um, I really enjoyed that because it was his second year of being a vampire and he was being introduced, Carlisle was introducing him into the human world again. I'm basically heading to parts that are a Twilight rewrite and I'm loving the new parts of Al uh, Edward's history and the history of his family. Also, do they ever call the Cullen family a coven? Because I don't think, I don't see them as a coven. I mean, they're not witches. They're vampires. Um, but yeah, I am slowly getting into this. I'm going to be reading a lot more tonight. I am skimming the parts where he's talking about his thought, his thoughts of his throat and everything. And I'm just, I'm, so far this book is a two. So I'm just, it's getting two stars because of the new information that we're getting about his past. Um, I'm hoping that I finish this book tomorrow so I can start Cloak of Night and finish it before Monday or by Monday. So far my reading is not going the way I planned. Plus I'm just worried about tomorrow because my kids go back to their Girl Scout meetings tomorrow and yeah. They have their mask, they're getting shields, they're getting their own mask, Girl Scout mask and I'm just worried. Anyways, so let me get back to reading. I wasn't going to update because I was like... Well, I missed yesterday. Why well, I update today? And plus, I'm reading the same damn book. <laughs> okay, I'm gonna stop whining and read. Hopefully, and it's just to the part where, like, this far, this far, I read this much, and he, she hasn't even met the family yet. Get you a good editor. That's all I gotta say. This book is just filled with errors and grammatical mistakes and I just can't handle it. A 600 page book with this much bad editing it's not worth the money I paid for it. Update. I'm reading and they're playing baseball. They're at the baseball field. And Edward can see the V between her eyebrows from far away. Okay, now that my tender hair has been pulled out Thanks, Casey. Uh, I'm doing a Rita long during uh, Books and Lala's Live. I'm still reading Midnight Sun. And okay, see, she's reading. We're all reading. It's a great time. But I just had to pick up my phone because it says, "Ugh." Bella was leaning up on her tiptoes, her hands covering her ears with the V visible between her brows. But she relaxed as soon as Carlisle and Jasper were on their feet again. Dude, you're in the outfield and she's next to Esme. How can you see the V that you're so obsessed with and Stephanie Meyer's obsessed with too? I mean, does this V a char is this V between her brows a character in the book now? Brow V. V brow. Let's call it that. Hey guys, it is the last day of the Buzzword Readathon and I have some updates. I did not update yesterday. Um I finished, finally, I finished Midnight Sun by Stephanie Meyer, and I give this a 2 out of 5 stars. <sighs> Edward Stott's being repetitive and just gloomy and depressing was not what I needed. 
because today was just gloomy and depressing. The w it rained all day and they're calling for rain Monday and Tuesday. Not what I needed and I was just in a bad headspace this morning. His emotions transferred to me and I was just like, I wanted to leave my house this morning and go out and I'm not doing that. But anyways, I give it a two. Um, I do have a favorite part and that is when Alice is like thinking of what she's going to do for the fake hotel window scene uh, to cover up Bella's real injury and just reading all that she was going to do was just I loved it. I want a I know I said I did not want any more books in the Twilight universe. I want a book from when Alice wakes up as a vampire to when she finds the Cullens with Jasper. That's all I want. I don't want no reprint. I don't want no repetitiveness. I just want all Alice. So, and I also give it a two stars because I did enjoy the backstories and the histories of Rosalie and uh, Edward and Carlisle and a little bit of Esme here and there. Um, we didn't get into Jasper's backstory because it gets into his backstory in Eclipse, but I wanted more to know more about Emmett. We know how Rosalie found him and why um, he was he got saved. But, yeah. Uh, and I am starting... Oh, I gotta move y'all. I am on Chapter 2 of Cloak and Night by Evelyn Skye. And I had to reread my review of the first book because I forgot. And I'm still... I think that I'm mixing it up with a different book. I don't know. Am I? I think I'm mi I think I'm mixing up the first book, which is Circle of Shadows, with the twelve. But I don't remember the kids in the twelve going to a fishing village. I think I'm not sure. I don't think I'm I think I'm mixing it up, but I'm I don't think I am. I'm conflicted, but this is about this uh, kingdom, this imperial city. It's about these warriors. They are tigers, and they have uh, they're they're the warriors. They're about to graduate and go off on their missions. And our main character, Sora, she and her best friend Damon, who was found um, living with wolves, and he has a blue streak in his hair. So, uh. He, I, I remember his backstory. Um, they find this encampment in the woods near where he was found and where they go on their break. And they see somebody who is supposed to be dead. And he eventually tries to take over the kingdom and run the empress off. And it, um, it involves a magical ability called Ryu. And, yeah, that's all I remember. It's slowly coming back to me. But, yeah, I don't think I'm mixing it up. But it feels like I'm mixing it up, if you know what I mean. And so the first chapter was all about Empress Aki. And so I'm ready to get back into this. Okay, that's my update. Um, wrap up this whole buzzword vlog because I'm not going to finish this before tonight. I'm not going to read 400 pages in four hours. If I can read 100 pages in an hour, I mean, imagine the, the amount of books I can read. Okay, so I'll see y'all with an update soon.